a Monday demonstration in Dresden. Hundreds of followers of the right-wing populist movement Pegida stage a protest, spurred by populist Donald Trump's election as U.S. president. Like Trump, they want to sweep the governing parties out of office and overturn the system. They chant resistance and Merkel must go. Jürgen Kazak is on the street with 200 counter-demonstrators in Dresden this evening. They want to oppose the right-wing populists. In principle, they're just against everything. Trump was elected president because he said he is against the establishment. It doesn't matter what his arguments are. And I think we have to do some hard thinking. The two groups will confront each other later this evening. Kazek has been on his feet all day. Long an activist against the right, the Leipzig attorney and Green Party politician has barely rested since the rise of Pegida. What Pegida and all these movements have done is shift the framework of discussion to the point where there's no criterion for exclusion anymore. Where people from the NPD, a neo-Nazi party, stand on stage. People with a long record of assault and battery. Where the former German Empire's war flag waves. Where speeches sound like Goebbels. And where people stand beside that and say, we're concerned citizens. Kazak sees Trump's election as a bitter setback. He's from a leftist family and has long worked against right-wing extremists who are numerous and active in his home state of Saxony. Our fear, of course, is that what we already have to a degree in Europe will now intensify. In Britain after the Brexit and in America after Trump's election, there has been a wave of racist violence. It's like they're saying, we've won and now we're going to show you. And he sees what they're showing every day in the hate-filled comments on his Facebook page. This comment is about America, viva Trump, that's not so bad. But this one is pretty extreme. When people like me take power, you'll be on trial the next day and then you'll hang. As an attorney, Jürgen Kazak takes on hundreds of cases each year, often accepting no money from his clients. This young leftist faces charges after a demonstration against Pegida and will soon be tried. He wants to remain anonymous in our report. Why were you out and about that day? To demonstrate against Pegida. They immediately said, that's the guy. What's actually in the file are photos where you can't be identified. I'd like to ask you to dress up a bit when you come to court. Because I have a certain idea about society, some of the people I defend are punks, people who have come into conflict with the state. I consider my freedom extremely important. And he sees his freedom in danger. Just a few days ago, Kazak was attacked on a local train. Hooligans recognized him, threatened him verbally, and then threw a bottle at him. The police came just in time to prevent anything worse from happening. In this in that moment, you wonder what would happen if they pulled the emergency brake, or if they're waiting for us on the train platform in Leipzig. It's a horrible feeling. Only later do you ask yourself, what am I doing here? Kazak refuses to be intimidated. In the evening, the two demonstrations in Dresden cross paths. It's now or never, thinks Kazak. He intentionally confronts the Pegida marchers. You can't stop it alone, especially after what's happened in America. We don't want to wake up one day and realize this is not the society we want to live in. We need to defend our standpoint with confidence. 
Jürgen Kazek is determined to make things difficult for the populists in Dresden and throughout Germany.